I feel really privileged to have the opportunity to give a lecture in Steve's name. He understood that stories are there to entertain us, but they're also how we question the way we are. So I want to take this as a starting point this evening. I want to use it to talk about the power of storytelling. In the past few years, we've seen monumental changes in the media landscape around us. Audiences have been catapulted into a golden age of television. It's come about because of the huge tech players that have entered the market. Whatever the latest FANG acronym, there's no question that the giants of the West Coast have driven up quality. They forced everyone to raise the bar. But they've done something else too. Over the past few years, I believe they've made the BBC's unique public service mission steadily more important to this country. I'm proud of the 17 BAFTAs and 18 RTS programme awards. I'm proud of what they say about BBC's creative track record this year. But I'm prouder still that the commitment we have to reflecting modern Britain in all its brilliant diversity has been so widely recognised by audiences and the industry alike. In difficult, divided times, I believe that the BBC has no bigger responsibility and no more vital role to play for Britain. Championing British creativity has always been our priority. We've always been the biggest investor in homegrown talent and ideas. But since 2010, when the licence fee was frozen, the amount we have available to spend on content has fallen by nearly a fifth. In a world of incredible, unprecedented choice, the irony is that British audiences may find it harder and harder to choose the stories that matter to them most. Our distinctive world-class television has a massive role to play in telling the story of the UK to the world. It's a major cultural force. For the BBC, what this means is clear. We need to take what we do best and do it even better. We need to refocus on what defines us against our competitors and the things that set us apart. As the incentives of the biggest players become even more commercial and cautious, ours need to become ever more creative and bold. As their focus becomes more global, ours must become more local. As their decisions are de-risked by data, we need to risk more to tell the stories that matter most. This is my vision and my commitment for the years ahead. Creative-led storytelling in a tech-led world. And I believe it means making five important promises. First, I want to make a promise to new talent that we will seek out and support the very best, whoever and wherever they are, that we will find and nurture new, diverse, original storytellers of the future. Second, though, I want to make a promise to great talent that the BBC is where they will find the freedom and space to do their most exciting work and pursue their most ambitious ideas, where they'll be able to return for support again and again. Third, I want to make a promise to young audiences that we will offer them more of what they want, how and when they want it, so that they can continue to come to us for the best and most exciting content. Fourth, I want to make a promise to diverse audiences that British storytelling will represent the whole of modern Britain in all its difference and diversity, that we will make sure everyone's stories are told and everyone's voices are heard. Diversity also means reflecting all of the UK's cities and communities. And I've committed to investing in greater representation and portrayal across all our nations and regions. Female stories must clearly be a massive part of this narrative too. I don't need to tell anyone here that as a society, we're just at the start of a very long journey to address a huge historical failing of female voices. Finally, I want to make a promise to the country that at an important moment for our nation and our national identity, we'll work harder than ever to take Britain's creative strength and cultural influence to the world. I know Steve cared deeply about the BBC. I said when I first accepted the invitation to give this lecture that he was never scared to ask difficult questions of us, yet he was also our greatest champion and supporter. He knew how much what we do matters. He held us quite rightly to the highest standard. He was a passionate believer in British creativity and risk-taking and in public service television. As we look to the future, it's this spirit of fearlessness we need to embrace in everything that we do.